afternoon guys welcome to survival gear alliance and today we're taking a look at two pieces of crucial edc that pretty much no guy leaves the house without and that is your wallet and your keys now it took me a couple of years to really find a perfect system for me that i think works every day and i will probably not be changing my system for a very long time and I found that system with Trayvax. Now Trayvax is a fantastic company. Most of us all know who Trayvax is and what type of products they, they make and, and how their warranty is a 65 year heirloom warranty which is pretty phenomenal. So I carried a key bar for a couple of years and uh, although I like the key bar and it you know it has some flair and uh, pretty neat features it it was a bit bulky in pocket and uh, the clip always wanted to let go of my pocket and just come loose and I end up dropping my keys and that's just not good I never was a very big fan of you know the possibility of losing my keys due to that type of clip and system and also the added bulk and weight of the key bar was kind of a letdown as well so uh, I waited for about a year for Trayvax to bring the Link lanyard back on the market. And when they finally came back on the market, I immediately jumped on it and purchased one for my keys. And I will tell you, this has been a game changer for me. So the Link lanyard, if you don't know, is actually a carabiner with a lanyard and a quick disconnect swivel attachment here that attaches to your key ring. So the way that this works is there is actually a push button on top of the swivel there and this will swivel around like so and if you press that button your keys detach from the lanyard. This is super convenient because you can leave the lanyard attached to your belt to your belt loop while you do things all day long and the keys can be in your pocket on a you know in a car console or wherever they need to be while the lanyard remains attached to your belt loop and then when you want to you know hurry up and get those keys onto your belt you just attach it like so now the quality of this piece is pretty phenomenal so let me show you I'm gonna get a little close up here so you can see the swivel itself is steel and it is fully melanite coated it's a firearm grade finish and it is extremely durable this lanyard itself is several months old I've carried it every day and there is no sign of wear at all on the swivel itself and it's got a heavy-duty d-ring here that is sewn into this nylon web lanyard which is two layers thick and then loops over into a third layer where it closes out the system and it's all it's got all these these box weave uh, sewn sections in here so that this thing is just bulletproof okay now the carabiner itself also melanite coated steel and it's got a very very strong gator that is sturdy it doesn't it doesn't sway out of uh, position to the left or to the right and it is very strong when it's attached to your belt belt loop so it's a nice flat lightweight carabiner and uh, that's about it that's the link lanyard now when I actually put this onto my belt, I hope I'm in frame here, but as you can see, I clip that onto my belt loop like that, and then that will drop into your pocket at the absolute perfect distance to dangle the keys in your pocket rather than dropping them all the way to the bottom of your pocket so that those keys are, are kind of dangling there in your pocket very comfortably and not bunching up in the bottom of your pocket and digging into your leg like you would if you just had a wad of keys in your pocket. 
This will also work with a you know a loop further back here, and you can drop them into your back pocket, which I do I do that often depending on which knife I'm carrying. Today I'm carrying my mini sheepdog, and this is a watch pocket worthy knife, so it stays up here while the link lanyard sits in my pocket down here. Now, I was such a big fan of the link lanyard that I ended up buying a second link for my Trayvax Contour wallet. Now I carry that left front pocket and as you can see this one has pretty much the same features as the nylon but this is a black leather stealth uh, lanyard that matches the black leather on my Trayvax Contour wallet. That being said, uh, with this system, I can disconnect my wallet from that at any time if I need to get, you know, get my wallet out and take all my cards out or anything and leave the lanyard on my belt loop just like with the keys. Or it's got just enough length to it to where that wallet dangles right at the bottom of my pocket. Okay, the lanyard sits nice and flush along that belt loop line right there and keeps everything here. And I don't even really notice that wallet in my pocket during the day at all. So when I go up to the register, I grab that loop and it's just super easy to get a hold of. And I just pull my wallet out, flip it around, open it up, and divvy out my cards and get to what I want for the cashier. Now, the third piece of gear that I wanted to review today other than the link is of course my Trayback Contour. Now I've had this Contour for over about a year now and this is just the most phenomenal wallet that I have ever owned in my entire life. Backed by their 65 year warranty and it is just an absolute beast. This front piece of uh, frame here is steel, I do believe, and that sits onto an aluminum frame that is all, you know, milled and anodized, and it's all held together with these torch screws here. And you can loosen those screws to adjust the uh, the depth of that leather backer, so that you can put more or less cards in there and keep everything tight. And it is just a phenomenal wallet. You know, it's expensive, not gonna lie, it's the most expensive wallet I've ever bought, but it was worth every penny for me. And so, the Trayvax Contour for me is a lifetime wallet. I'm probably not ever going to replace this unless I have to. Which brings me to, back to the Link Lanyard. With, you know, I, with this lanyard, I truly believe that as long as I walk out of the house every day, and hook that lanyard to my belt loop I am never ever going to lose my wallet okay I lost a wallet about 15 years ago um, and it was on the job I was doing a job and uh, my wallet disappeared and I was in a position at that time where there were several things in that wallet that could not be replaced and uh, it was quite a tragedy at the time I was in Hawaii and it's a long story but uh, suffice to say uh, a month later a housekeeping lady actually found my wallet in a rental uh, rental room there and returned my wallet to me and I got really lucky but ever since that day I have been a firm believer in having my wallet attached to a lanyard and I have never ever ever carried a wallet without a lanyard since and I've never lost my wallet since. That being said, uh, you know, with the combination of this Trayvax Contour wallet and the Trayvax Link lanyard, this is my perfect EDC system right here. And I carry it every single day, and I'm going to carry it every single day until I find a better system, which is probably not happening anytime soon. Uh, that being said, you guys have a great day. Oh, bonus round I almost forgot let me show you one thing now 
this is your typical you know typical guy carry I've got my driver's license my my CCW license in there and of course bank credit cards etc etc and in the very back of my contour I have something unusual that most guys won't probably won't know about or be carrying and that is a credit card diamond knife sharpener now this is really cool because it's actually the you know pretty much the exact same size as a credit card just a hair thicker than a credit card and it provides a nice rigid metal backer for my cards in the Trayvax contour and I just put that diamond uh, grit facing away from the cards there uh, towards the leather and uh, I always have a knife sharpener on me at all times it may even provide some RFID blocking for all I know uh, anyways this is made by I want to say this this one was a diamond easy lap you can get these on Amazon and they come in three different grits uh, the, there is another company making them and their DMT diamond knife sharpening uh, you know bits that they all also do the same exact three grit system and uh, this particular one I'm carrying here is a 400 grit um, I do have a 600 grit and I probably would be better off putting the 600 grit in my wallet but uh, this was the one that I had at the time when I thought of actually putting this into my wallet and so that's your bonus round guys y'all take it easy and have a good day